What's going on everybody? Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video. This time discussing all 8 characters from the first season pass for Dragon Ball Fighters. Of course, if you don't want anything spoiled for you, be sure to click off of the video now. So if you've been around my channel for a long time, you probably remember a video where I covered some leaks going over the 8 characters in the game. At the time, they were just leaks with a little bit of evidence backing them up, but now this 8 character list pretty much cements that these characters are in fact in the game. Unless, of course, they threw that list in there to throw us all off, but I highly doubt they would do that. The eight characters contained in this list were Broly and Bardock, Fuse Zamasu and Vegito Blue, Base Goku and Base Vegeta, and finally Android 17 and Cooler. Now, the news of these characters being in the game isn't exactly new, but a lot of you have asked me my thoughts and opinions on this list, and just in case anybody else didn't see this, I did want to get it out there. With Bardock and Broly officially out and me having got some hands-on time with them, I'll cover them in a later video that'll be more in-depth on just those two characters. So let's go down the line judging them by pairs. So the second pair coming out after Broly and Bardock would be Fusamasu and Vegito Blue. Now, I think this pair is an excellent choice, as it comes from one of the more popular super arcs, and it contains Vegito, which is just an instantly recognizable character for any of the fans that are exclusively from Dragon Ball Z. Now, I do want to highlight that another thing that the modders found were some interesting textures that look like it was from the Hope Sword, leading us to assume that there is going to be a Trunks costume, or at the very least, a Trunks dramatic finish against Merge Zamasu. And I think if this pair was to be accompanied by a costume for Trunks, that would be even more amazing, as it would show that Arxis is okay with going for alternate costumes for characters if the demand for from the fans is there. And right after coming down from that amazing pair is one of the more controversial pairs so far in the season pass, that being Base Goku and Base Vegeta. I've seen so many people criticize this choice, and I'm actually one of the people that would be alright with it. But let me clarify that I completely understand why a lot of people wouldn't want more Vegetas and more Gokus in the game. Besides, I'm one of the people that actually wants to see Raditz in this game, so what do I know anyway? As far as why I'm okay with Base Goku and Base Vegeta being introduced as a pair into Dragon Ball Fighters, it's actually because I like what both of their characters do during their respective arcs. I think there's definitely more than enough material there for a company like Arxis to make interesting and unique characters out of them. But again, I understand that making them interesting mechanically isn't going to take away from the fact that they look like Goku and Vegeta. But for me, that's okay as long as we get to see Goku's spirit bomb, his Kaioken attack, accompanied by some of the more interesting things Vegeta does as well. Along with this, I would also like to see a dramatic intro where they both take their iconic poses and a dramatic finish in which we get to see the iconic beam clash that really defines Dragon Ball Z for a lot of people. If we can get all of that within these two characters, then I know a lot of people will come around to these two being added, but it still won't really lessen the blow for the people just coming into Dragon Ball Fighters from fighting games. And then we have the last pair, which is actually pretty interesting, that being Android 17 from the Tournament of Power and Cooler. Now, originally I said that I don't really see these two being a pair because it doesn't make any sense canonically, but somebody on the subreddit did point out that these two are technically brothers of characters, so it could be the brothers pack. I have no idea if they were just making a joke, but it does make a little bit of sense, at least more than what I thought previously, that being nothing. And I'm actually totally okay with this pair. I've always thought Cooler was a very cool villain aesthetically. I'm not sure how many moves they'll be able to pull out for him, but I'm sure Arxis can figure that out. And as far as Android 17 goes, I originally wasn't that big of a fan of the character, but after his performance in the Tournament of Power, he has more than enough moves to pull from, and I think that his potential moveset does set him up to have some unique support aspects in his gameplay. And if you've been following this channel, you know that I love my support aspects in fighting games. So I would love to give Android 17 a shot if he ends up being a support ass character. But now with my thoughts on the packs out of the way, I do want to hear all of your opinions down in the comments section below. And while you're down there, if you enjoy this video and channel, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. You can miss out on two characters to save money from the season pass. So if any of these two characters don't interest you, remember to just buy them individually. And if you already bought the season pass, then at least you can expect some quality characters coming out of Arc System Works. And hopefully it'll sell well enough to warrant a second season, and in which case, I'll be there to cover it. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.